Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to talk to you all about body care products that I really love, tried tested, you know, in the UK the weather's attempting to turn um, to a bit more sunnier times which is all very much needed. Um, so I'm going to show you some body products that I'm really really loving at the moment. If you're not already subscribed to this channel please hit that button now. If you want to see lots of beauty content for me, so I'm a makeup artist of 15 years, I've got bucket loads of experience. So if you want to see kind of cool, feminine, easy to follow along beauty advice, this is the place to be. Anyway, let's get to it. So I'm going to start off with um, a product that I think a lot of people may miss out on and the newest most excellent revelation are these. So I think you know I love Dr. Dennis Gross products and <gasps> there's one left in the box. Panic, sheer panic. Right, so these are, have I got a regular size one? I normally have them lying around, but let me go get one for you. Take two, Dr. Dennis Cross. Right, so here are the regular size peels versus the body ones. Oh, I've got to tell you, I blinking love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. These transform your skin immediately, immediately. You need to do this about once a week, fortnightly, potentially just depending on what your vibe is. So these have a mixture of AHAs in them, a mixture of acids in them, that basically exfoliate and take the skin off. So I'm just gonna show you one in action and I'm gonna use the rest off camera because you don't need to see everything, do you? So you peel, you peel that thing off. And then, so how this suggests to use it, I don't know if you can see, but this is like doused in product like when I squish it you can see the acids coming out so the idea is that you use one bit at a time and then the acid will do its thing and if you have tattoos they make your tattoos look brighter and if you've got outline stuff and blacker it is amazing and this just takes any dead skin off so this is fantastic as well for any fake tan removal no, if you do wear fake tan, use this before you do your tan because this will just take off your tan. I always get really dry elbows. But look, that has just transformed my arm. Everything looks more vivid and brighter. And look, I'm clean and that's come off there. If you use these like straight after the, the bath or cleaning, washing yourself, just make sure your skin's dry and it always just lifts. That's just dead skin coming off there. Gross! I know, so you keep unfolding it until you've used a whole one over your body and my lord! Good stuff. And it moisturises your skin as well, so you don't need to necessarily lather on moisturiser after. It's just amazing. My elbow feels really soft now. Ah, I mean, look at the difference in my skin. I know obviously it's harder because these are coloured tattoos, but... I don't know, maybe like, ooh, look at the top of my arm. But anyway, you get the vibe. So I love, I love, 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 if you're looking for RIP, another one, bed dust, love these, love these. Just chuck that over there. Another new product that's landed on my beauty desk is this um, almond, sugared coffee almond milk scrub by drunk elephants. This is coffee, seed, oil and sugar together and this smells like... <laughs> I can't get in the pot! Oh my gosh. Why can't I get in the pot? Oh my gosh. Guys, why can't I get in the pot? Let's try the banging technique. I can't get in it. Well that's a bit awkward. I've used this a couple of times. I'm really hot and bothered now. And something falls on the floor, of course. Let's try and get in it for something else. Why has it done that? 
You can't make this stuff up. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Why has it done this? Let's find another tool. It's so good, it doesn't want to be used and I cannot open it. I'm getting so hot, guys, I'm bothered. Guys, I, I can't open it. But anyway, it's not actual coffee particles, it's a sugar scrub. So basically, um, if you want a more intense scrub, use it on dry skin and, and then scrub it in then add water to the mix. And it just smells of like almonds, really, really luxe. It's beautiful. Um, it's really lovely and it smells amazing. It smells like, it's not too coffee-ish, it's kind of more almond kind of smelling. It's beautiful, quite sweet. Um, yeah, just, just don't drink it if you can open it. I don't know why mine's done that. I've even taken the sticker off to try and see if that was it, but... And Chris isn't home to ask, so... <laughs> That's really nice. And I think that's under 20 quid, which is quite good. So that'll get you through summer. Right, next we're on to Elemis. And I think Elemis, when it comes to face or body, are just amazing with their products. This is the Sea Lavender Samphire Salt Scrub. This is really lovely. So the salt particles, I haven't used this in a wee while, are really nice and fine in there. And it just smells like sea-like smells so it's quite a marine smell to it but really really pleasant and as you rub this in basically the salt disintegrates this is really good if you love a physical scrub and it just makes your skin feel really soft oh, it's just such a, there's something really nice about a physical scrub especially on your body and you can see all those salt particles have literally dissolved into my skin and have not popped any moisture onto there Ideally, you would pop it on damp skin, but it just leaves your skin absolutely dreamy, really lovely and soft. This makes a lovely gift. I think LMS is a really good brand. If you're not sure what to get someone and you need to get them a gift, go for LMS. You just cannot, cannot, cannot go wrong with it. Yeah, I love you. I love you. <sighs> it smells like you've been to the spa. That's what it smells like. This is another scrub from Typology. What I love about this brand is they're very much an eco-conscious brand. This is a metal tube. It's nice because you can get every single inch of product out as well. So this has almond kernel powder within it and it's got sweet almond oil in it as well and organic lavender. And this is much more of a holistic kind of fragrance to it. The, the scrub versus the Elemis one is much more gentle, much more of a finer kind of feel to it, this one. Yeah, just super pleasant, really nice, um, leaves your skin super soft, so that is a really lovely option to, and as I said, a great option to, for an eco-conscious kind of brand as well. Typology just kind of really cool looking as well, they look beautiful in your bathroom as an extra addition. So the next category we're going to move on to is uh, like moisturisers and whatnot. And these two have recently launched in the UK. There's actually a third product in the range, which is a, what's it called, retinol based body product as well. Has anyone used a body mist before? Like a hydrating body mist? Like I surely have not. This is the Hada Labo Super Hy Hyaluronic Let's try that again. This is the Hada Labo Super Hydrator Hyaluronic Body Mist Light Spray. So you can use this on your face and body. It's a really lightweight mist. There we go. So what using a mist does before any product is it helps all other products kind of be drawn into the skin more effectively. So you wanna always start with your lightweight. That's why you generally do a mist first. And this just, imagine this, like when we can actually go on holiday, oh, just spraying this on your body to like cool down with or give you some extra hydration. I love it. And again, it's great for all skin types because it's got no fragrance in it. And then that just absorbs really quickly and easily, no stick to it. And then this is the Deep Moisturising and Smoothing Body Essence Milk. I love these sorts of textures as well because they don't, 
they don't leave your skin sticky and they just absorb really easily. They just give your skin that lovely radiant glow. Again, no fragrance this product, but it does feel like a luxury product. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I haven't got a problem with fragrance at all being in products, um, but I know it just makes a product a bit more easy, like versatile to use for all kind of skin types. Again, this has their amazing technology behind it. It's a Japanese skincare brand that have are launching more products out here, basically, to their other markets, which is really exciting. So what's really special about this is that it's got different weights of hyaluronic acid in it. It's not just um, large particles, it's got really small particles in it. So it basically nourishes the skin really nicely and it just it absorbs so beautifully as well. Kind of no heavy layer of stuff left on your skin that's why i really like it the next body moisturizers we're looking at really hydrate but they're also a bit more of a luxury experience so this is the sol de janeiro brazilian boom boom cream oh yeah i mean there's a thimble's worth left in that this was um one of those samples you get from space nk and this basically is a brazilian nut that they use within this which is really fast absorbing into the skin okay that, that's just all like where that little nubbin has dried up so I can't even show you the texture but it's a really nice whipped texture whipped texture formula and it's got quite a sweet smell which does die down I if I'm gonna be really honest my friend was obsessed with this and I was always turned off by the smell in the pot and then it wasn't until I got this one and I actually applied it to my skin that's when I really fell in love with it because the smell kind of dies down a little bit it's not too sickly sweet they actually offer other fragrances in this now they do a coconut i think they do a naked one as well and they do this in various sizes and it's just really good so the ingredients really focus on tightening the skin as well so that's a bit more of a traditional cream texture then I've got this bad boy. This is the Creme de Corpse by Kiehl's. So I bought this as my like wedding moisturiser for my body. I, this was the product that I was constantly using to just really look after, oh my gosh, look after all of my skin. And I love to pop this on at night time and everything just absorbs really beautifully and readily. So it's quite a nice buttery kind of formula. And I basically bought this because I read that in Elle or Vogue that this is the product that Victoria's Secrets models use. So you can see there's a lot more sheen to it. It's just such a beautiful formula. I'm just addicted to how it kind of makes the skin look and how it feels. So this has got squalene in there, it's got glycerin, it's got um, shea butter, all these gorgeous ingredients that basically really hydrate and leave you with that gorgeous healthy glow to the sheen glow to the sheen, glow to the body. Because sometimes I find that when you're kind of getting all this glow on the face and your body looks dry and like gray and sad, like that's not cool guys, that is not cool. So if you want something, and this is really, really good for super dry skin and they do a really big bottle, which I have upstairs like this much left of, um, with a pump, a pump, pump, pump. But yeah, I really like this one and it's not too, like it's a really mild fragrance to it, it's nothing, nothing kind of offensive. And the final one, this was introduced to me by a few people actually. This lives um, in my bathroom, this is more like when I have a bath, I really want to have like a luxe moment with Elemis. The Frangi Pangi Monoi um, body oil. So I believe Monoi is a nut oil and um, it's actually a hard so when it's cold, it dries hard, like think coconut oil does. So you can see that's what that like white blob in there and I've just been hanging on to it. My body heat is radiating and melted it a little bit. So when I have this in the bath, I'll pop it in the bath water so it melts. Oh my gosh, the fragrance of this. So if you like body, I'm getting very excited and my words are like, like that. If you like a body oil, this is a glorious one. Oh no, I've just dropped the lid. This is a glorious one to try. It just smells. I'm using my Apple Watch to film this and I've just zoomed out somehow. 
joy. So I just zoomed back in and it just smells amazing. There's no colour to it. It's just pure spa luxury on the skin. It's like exotic. I could be in the Maldives. I could be in Greece. Who knows? I'm anywhere but here. And it's just amazing. It leaves your skin feeling so soft and nourished. And Chris always comments on this when I wear this. Like, hmm, what's that gorgeous smell? I'm like, well, it's my Elvis Frangie Money oil. Frangie Pangie Money body oil. Thanks. And you can actually use this in your hair um, as a mask treatment, as well as on your cuticles also. So again, it makes such a nice gift product for someone because that lasts forever. I've had this for about six months and... I've barely, barely touched size because you need such a small amount for it to work well. And now I need to find the lid. <laughs> Wish me luck that it hasn't fallen between the floorboards. One of the cats is up to something in the corner. What are you doing? What are you doing? He's got a tea bag? No. It's his, it's his catnip banana. Magnus is having a ball in the corner with his catnip banana. Anyway, so if you know me, I am actually pretty, funny enough, low maintenance. I'm quite lazy when it comes to things. I'm, I'm not too technical. I get really excited about a product and then I get quite lazy about using a product. So that's why you kind of see things on rotation quite a lot in how I use them. And the next two products are basically products I love, particularly in the summertime or kind of like now, just a gradual turn. So I'm not a huge, I'm a bit rubbish. I'm a bit rubbish when it comes to like actual um, fake tan. So I love a gradual in uh, gradual tan that I can just pop on every day. Sometimes I'll use a mitt to apply it so I don't get kind of orange hands. This is the Bondo Sands, the Australian tan. Gradual day, everyday tanning milk. I love it, it smells beautiful it's a cacao um, butter scent it's just really gorgeous Australians are really good at making these kind of products that just look super natural super healthy and I'm just feeling a bit blah because like it's spring in England at the moment we're still at the tail end hopefully of this global pandemic and the weather has been I don't know she's bipolar she's really annoyed at us like it's sunny right now but it could like snow in the next five minutes you just don't know so I think just having a bit of healthy glow to your skin, like I do feel really pale and uninteresting. So I'm gonna add a bit more. And it just helps me kind of feel a bit more uh, better in my body. I'm not that confident in my own skin, um, particularly when it comes to my body. So having a bit of tan on just gives me that little je ne sais quoi, you know? You know what I mean? And then the other product I'm really loving at the moment, this is almost finished actually, is the Vita Liberata uh, Luxury Tan Self Tanning Gradual Tone Suits All Skin Tones. Um, again, it leaves me with a really, really lovely, um, a really lovely colour to the skin. And these both don't smell like tan, which is another thing I don't like about fake tan. Um, I have a nose like a dog, so I'm like, what I smell? I smell like biscuits. I smell tasty. I smell yummy. But anyway, so that is another goodie that I love. <laughs> a goodie that I love to try. Yeah, it's it just leaves you. This probably smells a, a bit more like tan than the other one, but it just leaves you, as the bottle says, fabulous. Which it does. It really does. When you're using these kind of... Um, gradual tan products, it's important to exfoliate the skin beforehand. Don't use any moisturiser or oil, you just want to use this directly onto the skin as is because the other product will act like a barrier. So have you enjoyed this bit of a different video? Like here I am looking all cash, all the skincare, no makeup, bathrobe, why the heck not? Um, let me know some of your favourite body products or what should I really be trying that I'm missing out on on the moment? I'm sure that like there's many. I'm sure there's many. Yeah, that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, if you haven't subscribed, as I said earlier, do hit that button. There's loads of videos on here for you to enjoy. I upload every Sunday. 
and head to my Instagram for lots of daily content. It all pops off on my stories, you meet more of my cats, my hilarious kitchen, um, which is just another whole story. I'm now aware that I'm rambling, so I'm very much going to leave you to enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a very good day, everyone. Bye.